So after you did that, he threw one and hit you with it. And and was that the mule? No, no he threw punches. The punches I, that didn't um, connect solid. I mean, the punches that missed. And I felt them on my arm, and I felt they were very solid punches. Mm -hmm. But like I said, he never fight for anybody like me. As well as this shit, I can, you know what I mean? I can take it as well. Yeah. Uh, as I look over here at uh, your friends, you know, all the guys, they were involved in a little thing after the fight. How y'all doing? Where's John Horn? You know John's not a fighter. That's sweet daddy John Horn. Well, yeah, because fight. John was, hey, hey, come on now, chill. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? Get my leather messed up now, hey. <laughs> you know, but John didn't get in it, but you was throwing. But what was that about? Um, I don't know. Um, I guess some guy was on protest to the referee, and as he was doing that, my trainer jumped in because he thought that perhaps they were going to attack because they were irate at the moment. So he jumped in the way, and then they attacked him, and they started fighting, and we won both fights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there some kind of problem now between uh, Razor and his managers? Um, and answer that, and also answer the relationship between the guy Muhammad, uh, his manager, and Don King, how's their relationship? So as, as you know, you know they get emotional. I guess Arad got emotional over the fighter because, of course, he. That's when Rod Muhammad. Yeah, that's his name. And he's not bad guy anyway. He just got um, excited over the fight. He got emotional, which you should never get emotional with your fighter. Believe it or not, you know what I mean. Even though you have to look at it, it sounds um, a little harsh, but you look at that guy as probably something like um, stock. You can't get emotional. Once you get emotional, you can't think well. You know what I mean. You get involved like the other night when he got when the fighter got beat. He got um, emotionally involved and he went crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he wasn't thinking with the, the faculty that he knows. He's a very bright guy. Mm -hmm. and he was upset and it makes him say things and he doesn't look as well or as bright as he normally is because he got so emotional with the situation. Are, are him and Razor all right now? Are they I, I don't know. I believe so. Yeah. How, how are um, Muhammad and Don King? I, you know, they're, they're good friends from what I hear. Yeah. And you use the word stock. You don't want like a person like Don King to consider you stock. No, but you can't, have, you can't have somebody be emotional with you. If someone's emotional with you, and this is like your son fighting, and you see your son perhaps getting hit with a hard punch, and you're, oh, God, no, he can't take it no more. I mean, you have to let a man walk his walk, you know what I mean? It's just something that he chooses to do, let him go all the way. You know what I mean? You can't get involved, because if he fails, you just let him know he failed doing his best. You have to fail doing your best, because if you, if you fail, and, and you felt that you were going to fail, and this guy, he, he prematurely gets involved in the situation, you just have that doubt in your mind. It's, it's, you should know. You should know if you can do it or you can't do it. Yeah. You can live with yourself. You know, I watch between rounds. You're on you're on the stool and everybody, somebody's Q-tip in your ear and they put water in your mouth, you know, and they, you know, they do all kind of stuff to you. And they give you directions. Do you know what, I mean, are you even into what they're saying? Um, I, I, it's funny because it transcends, you know what I mean? But I'm, just, I'm in my own world. But, you know what I mean, it just, um, it fits in some kind of way. It's hard to describe it, you know what I mean? Would you like them to chill sometimes? Because it seemed like so many people screaming and talking. It's a, Mike, come on, now. You're, you're ain't playing. You're ain't playing. You know, it's like, not, you know, it's funny. Because even though I'm, I'm calm and relaxed, I understand everything that's going on. It's so funny. People say this. I'm so relaxed. I know. And I see everybody in the crowd as well. I see everything. I don't, I don't hear as much, but I see everything. I'm very relaxed. Okay, I'll give you a test. Was Jesse Jackson there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You pass. <laughs> you saw everybody. Um, let's talk about referee Richard Steele, who messed up my pay-per-view money. Um, <laughs> should he have stopped that fight? You know, um, I didn't think he should have at the, at the first time when, I, when the fight stopped, because I, I was, um, as you know, I was stalking him. I was, I was hitting him. He was going back. And he, he was about ready to go as, as it was. And I was very close. And that's one time in my career, as we've been practicing in the gym, I know I always hit a guy once or twice and then wait for him to fall. And sometimes the guys don't fall and they come back and they hit you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this time I'm hitting the guy and he's going back and I'm following him. And it's the first time I'm doing it. And it's um, a learning stage. And I'm doing what I've been taught to do for five or six years and I haven't did it correctly. Mm -hmm. And I haven't. And then he comes and he pushes me away. And then the other guy stopped. And I said, what the hell happened? I'm saying, what happened? So he pushed me away. So I said, well, I got the fight. But it, it was kind of shaky. So then I saw it on film. And I saw it just, it had one more punch. He was hurt pretty bad, and he couldn't defend himself. He couldn't defend himself. I saw his arm go over the rope. Um, but shouldn't the ref 
look in his eyes, talk to him. Don't they do something with their hands? Or... Yeah, but um, when, when someone's involved with that kind of exchange and he's getting punched and his head's going all up in his hands like this and it looks like he's lifeless and, you know, it's, it's scary. And as you know, he's been involved with a fight when a fella died. And who was that? Um, Duke who can't win for Mancini. Oh, yeah, yeah Ray Boom. Yeah. So I guess in his mind... Uh, so is that why he... I mean, since then, he has well, the yeah, reputation of stopping stuff early? He's a very competent referee. And I don't know why... Um, the other guy had the complaints about him. He probably, he's the best referee, perhaps, in Nevada. If not one is the best. And, I mean, these things happen. Sometimes a good referee have a bad night. And But he shouldn't have no qualms. You know, I'll give the other guy a rematch. Yeah. Yeah, he can regroup. And... Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> who would yeah. win? <laughs> who would win if Razor and Holyfield fought? You know, kind of guy, I, I would think Razor would beat him. Because the guy is so big, you know, he's so big and he punches so hard. It would beat him. Hmm. That'll be interesting. No, it won't. It would never happen. I would get my hands on all of it before he does. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You had a game plan before you went into the ring. Um, did it change at all? Um, I went to the ring, I said, yeah, I'm going to be scared. Go out here, I'm gonna see what he has. You know, it's, it was a little, um, you get a little leery because you hear the guy's reputation. But once I stand in the ring, I look across and he looks like he was very anxious to fight. I said, I'm gonna blast him, I'm gonna slaughter this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just get upset. The only time, it's not really most, the only time I get upset because I look at these guys, you know, and they, they try to intimidate me. And I, I hate the fact that the guy tries to intimidate me, looks at me mean. That stare down yeah, during yeah. the... Yeah, uh... because that's, that's a rubble. That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean... But just the fact that they, they go through the whole um, ceremonial bull. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Looking at look me, they let me hold me back for a little bit, I'm going to kill him. Oh, it just... It makes you mad. Yeah, I mean, I get upset. Because you didn't shake his hand in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? I'm no, sorry. It's so fun because everybody, you know, it comes, it comes to the time. Everyone believes, you know, I mean, they become um, intellects all of a sudden. They, you know, they, um, they go through a situation. They say, well, like, you could do this and you could do that. And they feel confident I'm better than this and that. And I, and, I, and I get upset because they say, well, Mike Tyson, everybody was afraid of Mike Tyson. There's a reason everybody's afraid of Mike Tyson. Because that Raider Ruddick wasn't afraid. And then a, at a certain time in that fight, something happened to him. He didn't just die out all of a sudden and stop throwing punches because he wasn't afraid. Something happened to make make him feel that way. So that's how come I feel that way about them. And these guys, I mean, I think, I think they're garbage. I mean, when they mention my name, I want the veins to turn white. I want them to sweat blood because I'm going to do damage on them. Wow. That scared me. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep doing the talk show. <laughs> that's a tough business you're in. Were you sore the next day? Um, Mostly just for punch because he's always blocking with his hand, and my, my arm would hit, hit his elbow or something. Yeah. He said you did things that were not fair and according to the according to the rules. Is that true? I fight to win. Mm -hmm. What kind of stuff was he talking about? I don't know. He said I hit him low. He had his shorts up to his throat. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks. I appreciate it because one day he might show up, and, and I hope he is <laughs> when he shows up. Oh, man, the fight is on Showtime uh, Saturday and Wednesday, I think, 10 p.m. King Vision. King Vision. It's, King, King it's King not Vision. really Showtime, huh? King Vision. It's King Vision. Showtime's involved with King Vision. Only in America. This is Mike Tyson. I'll be right back with Hulk. Hulk.